Hi friends, in this video I'm going to talk about what is IaaS, PaaS and SaaS. The previous video I was talking about what is cloud computing. It's like an on-demand service which can be accessed through the internet and it is shared resources and it is possible to scale. scale. Briefly, I talked about cloud computing in the previous video. In this video, I'm going to talk about like what are the delivery models of cloud computing. For example, software as a service, platform as a service, infrastructure as a service. I would like to talk only about these three delivery models. There are more delivery models like database as a service. I don't want to talk like other delivery models. Only three I want to focus on this video. So let's see what is infrastructure as a service. The first section you can see here. So when you say infrastructure, when you when you want an infrastructure as a service, you what you will be getting? You will get servers on demand, networking, operating system, and data storage. So it's it's actually virtualization. I would say like you will be getting a, a small VM, servers, and networking and data storage. Who can use it? For example, you have a startup and you have an admin team. So you told the admin team, hey, can we get the infrastructure because we don't have uh, we don't want to put effort on building an infrastructure on our own so can you buy or can you purchase infrastructure as a service so a company system admins will purchase the infrastructure as a service from the provider so who who is providing it currently i would say the example products are aws ec2 instance as an example for infrastructure as a service like you will get the servers go create and rack space let me show you a picture so the first block you can see this is called as infrastructure as a service so you will be getting the servers okay on top of that you have to install your middleware and the operating system and your applications so you you are responsible for your applications and the middleware and os when i say middleware it's a runtime it's a runtime for your application to run for example if your application is in written in java then you have to have you have to provide the servers like for example spring server or http like apache server or jd server and you, you are responsible for installing the operating system you will be getting only the servers from the provider this is called as infrastructure as a service so they are giving you infrastructure as a service and it is scalable so number of servers it can scale it is possible and you don't know where exactly it's been like data center you don't know where exactly it's located but it is accessible through the internet okay so this is all about infrastructure as a service then let's move on to the the pros and cons the advantage is it is you you will be getting a scalable infrastructure okay suppose currently you are launching a startup so you need only two instance fine you will be getting it but once you are really good at the, your product is started growing then you need five instance or ten instance it's possible to get that's why the advantage is your infrastructure can scale the aws will ensure the aws as a service provider will ensure you will get an infrastructure that can scale and provider is responsible for managing the infrastructure you don't have to even think about this box like the complete servers you don't have to worry you have to just think about the middleware the operating system managing the middleware managing your operating system and the applications and what is that disadvantage that is one like the, it, you might have some security issues since you don't have control of the uh, the infrastructure AWS the providers will take responsibility to mitigate it but still it's a disadvantage so next we'll move on to the platform as a service what is platform as a service it is a programming language execution environment operating system web server and database if you look at the picture that I showed you just now pass platform as a service so so for example uh, aws is saying we are providing 
platform as a service. That means they provide the service, they provide you the operating system, they also provide you the runtime environment for you. So you don't have to worry about any of this. You have to just think about, you have to just focus on your application development. Say you are a startup, a very small startup with less funding. Okay, then you can focus on the application building. You focus on building your application. It might be a ticket booking app or or um, or financing like trading app, whatever it might be. So you focus on the application, to building the application, and then you go to this pass provider like platform as a service provider, for example, AWS, and say, hey, I want to run my application on a platform. Can you please provide? Yes. They say, yeah, we provide service. That means you will get the machines like hardware you'll get. And then you will also get the uh, operating system and the middleware. When I say operating system, it might be Linux or Windows. And it, it is completely managed by the provider. Okay, and middleware, it's like the, the tools that you require to run your application. So who can use? Yeah, the developers can directly once your uh, application is ready, the product is ready, you can directly deploy to this platform. What are the example products? I would say AWS Elastic Beanstalk. So you have the complete stack. It's available from AWS. You can just get an account and on your, on your usage, based on your usage, you have to pay for this uh, AWS Elastic Beanstalk. So you can, play, you can deploy your application in the Elastic Beanstalk, ELB. And Windows Azure, Google App Engine, Heroku, Force.com. So these are the example products which provide platform as a service. What are the advantages? Cost-effective rapid development, quick deployment of web applications. So you focus on the application development. You don't even need to think about where my application will be running. Who will manage the, my web servers, databases? No you have everything is ready-made like it's available online through the internet you can access this platform you have to just focus on your business and the application development and once it's ready you can streamline you can streamline your releases to this platform directly okay so it, it, it gives you rapid development for your product let's move on to the next one software as a service what is exactly software as a service? So pay per use of software applications to users. You don't have to install the application, even the application, you don't have to manage the softwares. It can accessible through the internet. So you are, you are getting software as a service. So you don't have to even think about developing an application. I can give you an example, Google Drive. As a user, you, you have a lot of pictures, okay, from your mobile and uh, from your mobile and camera, you're taking a lot of pictures. You want to upload, you want to store somewhere. So Google uh, Google Cloud, you can see here like Google Drive, sorry, Google Drive, it's a product where users can get a login and then they can start using the application and you can upload your photos, okay? So you don't manage the application, you don't manage the OS, you don't manage the servers everything is available it's, this is called as software as a service who can use any end user any end customers can use it the example products i would like to say that it's google products gmail then google drive salesforce and microsoft microsoft office 365 the advantages are if you have internet and computer, then it's easy to access and start using it. The cons are portability, if you have any browser issues, and then if you if you don't have a proper internet, it might affect the performance, application performance. So these are the disadvantage. So whatever I know about this PaaS, SaaS, and IAS, I've just explained in a basic way. Hope this Hope this information is useful. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to share, please share. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe because I'm going to post more technical videos to all my subscribers. Thank you and all the best for your career. Thank you.